Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben from Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks for checking out this lesson today. Really appreciate it. We're gonna bring you a song lesson on the Grateful Dead hit, A Touch of Grey, or Touch of Grey. Uh, really great tune from the 80s. Not a whole lot of hits in their career radio-wise, but this is, was a big one for them. Uh, so we're gonna take you through some of the chord progressions and just general approaches, some fun little grab bag of goodies we can, we can take from this tune. So. Uh, touch of Grey. We're going to just start right at the beginning. We're going to open up with the chord progression here and we'll talk a little bit about the strumming technique here. The basic chord progression at the beginning of the tune is going to find us playing an A chord, going to an E, and a B, going to an F sharp. Now let's talk about adding some rhythm to this. So that's our basic vamp that we're talking about in the beginning. And we're seeing that we're, we're doing some syncopation here. We're, we're accenting the upbeat, the up strum here. And this starts before the measure. So if we're thinking one, two, one, two, three, four, and bum, bum, bum. And if you, you want to make sure you're hearing that right, so you can kind of feel where the downbeat is. So we're going to go up on the A chord and then up on the E chord, and then up again, and then finally on B3 is where we get a sense of a, a downbeat there, right? And, and, and three, and then same rhythm with the other two chords, B to F sharp. So you can vamp that you know, as long as you want to, if you're playing it with a band, you can groove on that a little bit. Uh, and when you're ready to get into the tune, we'll straighten out our strumming and our progression a little bit here. We're going to be dealing with the same four chords, just kind of fitting them in different orders as we go throughout the different parts of the verse. So we're going to start out here with a B chord, and then we're going to go F sharp to B. So. Let's start out by just playing this nice and straight and we can fill in the rhythm as we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Then E, two, three, four. A, back to E. Okay, so that rhythm there, we're just gonna anticipate in the middle of the bar there. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. That's the first time through your verse. Second time we're, we're gonna go through here, we're gonna come back on the F sharp to B and then to E. So let's string that all together first time through your verse here. Biggest thing to take away from this is not just the chords, but the anticipation points where you wanna change the chord at the right time. One, two, three, four, one, two and three four one two three four one two and three four back to f sharp two three four one two and three four and e two three four one two three four now that would be pretty dull if that's all we did is we we let them ring out if you're playing with a band you might want to leave that space for the other instruments but when you're just jamming this thing on your own we want to dig in and add a little bit more rhythm to that. That's our basic structure. Let's add on to that now by just filling in a little bit more with our strumming hand. You see what happened there? We all of a sudden added more life to that chord progression, but I used that first example as my template or my jumping off point to add all that other rhythm on top of that. Same basic idea, all the anticipations were there in the same spot, but I'm just filling in a little bit more with my rhythm hand. Cool? Right on. Okay, so moving on now, let's talk about the chorus and some of the neat things that happen in the chorus. This is the I will survive part of the tune, right? And we're going to start here on an F sharp to B to E. And we 
they have that little instrumental hook there that's such a huge part of the chorus. So three chords, like we talked about, F sharp, B to E, and we have this little riff that we can play a few different ways. So that's one way to voice that little melody. You could move it up an octave. Or if you're jamming this tune on your own and you want to fill up a little bit more space, you know, up there it kind of sounds a little wimpy to me if it's just me and not the rest of the band. So let's maybe play it in octaves. Kind of fills it out a little bit more, right? And so on, right? And we had this other little riff that we're going to do. That's a nice little turnaround to the beginning of the progression. Let's break this one down here. I'm going to start out by kind of grace note sliding up into the fourth fret. And I'm just moving up chromatically here, right? So that's the first little move to get down. The second one. So that riff can be broken down into two halves in my mind. The first half, second half. And I should point out on the first half, I think he does a slide there to get into that highest note. Now those two things happen at the same time. That little riff I just did on the low string and the melody. So when you're jamming this tune on your own, pick and choose. You know, do one the first time, then do the other one the second time. Do your favorite one. Uh, the choice is yours there. kind of punctuated like that. You know, play and hold, not really much strumming in between that. I will get by into the next part. So that's our chorus, right? When we take that out and then we're back to the verse once again, uh, which we detailed earlier. Hopefully that gives you a couple of different options of ways to interpret the chorus. So you guys, when it comes time to solo over some changes like this and a tune like this, it can be a lot of fun and there's a lot of options. And we want to help you out with that here at Epic Guitar Instruction. We have a free video lesson that we put together. All you got to do is just click on the link that you see below. If you click on the link that you see in the YouTube description box, we're going to send you this free video lesson that outlines all kinds of different strategies and options for how to solo and how to approach being creative and improvising over a chord progression like this and many more. Uh, not only that, it comes with a free ebook. We're going to outline, you know, different scale diagrams you can use, pentatonics, you know, major scales, mixolydian mode, stuff that will definitely work over this and many other tracks. So uh, that's all free stuff. It's all good. All you got to do is just click on the link that you see below. We'll send that to you from Epic Guitar Instruction. Now, after we get through another verse and another chorus, we have a bridge to the tune that features a new set of chords. So let's talk about those now. Bridge is going to find us starting on a C sharp minor. And then we're going to C sharp major. And then to an F sharp. Now, I like voicing it this way because I like sneaking in that little answer melody I think that we hear the keyboards do in the tune. So you can do that set of changes two times. And then the back half, we're going to jump up here to a G sharp minor. 
D sharp, major. Now back to a C sharp seven. And we'll play F sharp here, right underneath it. B seven to E. And then back to F sharp in our lower position. So let's take that whole bridge. That's a lot of changes in context and in time. Coming out of that, we have the guitar solo, which is just over the verse changes. Um, and of course, in the spirit of the Grateful Dead, you know, that's improvised. You can do it differently every time. Uh, and so that takes you through all of the different sections of the tune and hopefully just kind of plucking some goodies from some of the other spots from the keyboards and whatnot. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Grateful Dead, Touch of Grey. Thanks so much for joining me today. Epic Guitar Instruction is our channel. That's what we're doing here. So if you dig what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, click subscribe, and we'll let you know every time we have a new lesson for you. Uh, we'll, we'll pass the word to you. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. You know, Feel free to share our channel with your friends, family, all that good stuff. Once again, I'm Ben for Epic Guitar Instruction, and I'll see you guys next time.